Hi, my name is Anna Peterson, and I'm going to be talking today about the drug policies in Arizona. According to the Arizona Revised Statutes, possessing supplies and chemicals, creating drugs, possessing drugs for the purpose of sale, manufacturing drugs, administrating substances to another person, obtaining drug by misrepresentation of deceit, or transferring or transporting of dangerous substances within or into the state is prohibited and a class four felony. Dangerous drugs, according to them, are means, of, uh, means unauthorized prescriptions, narcotics, or anything other than marijuana, including painkillers, antidepressants, addictive substances like um, methamphetamines, cocaine, and heroin. And these are all in the classification. In Arizona, the possession for dangerous drugs is a class four felony and can come with sentencing between one and four years, one year in jail and probation. The sentences increase if the offender has past convictions of the felony. For first time offenders and for personal possession, not included methamphetamines, they could be looking at class one misdemeanor. And this would mean probation um, and, and, and attendance in an educational drug program. If they violate this, the conditions, there would be additional conditions added to this like community service and intensified treatment for the drug problem. There also could be home arrest, but it would not ever include incarceration. People with three personal possession convictions may be incarcerated, but more than likely they would be offered probation. The manufacturing, possessing for the purpose of sale, administrating, transferring, transporting, or having supplies and chemicals for making meth are class two felonies. The Savalian Law Group states that class two felonies come only um, second to murder and is punishable from anywhere from three to 35 years in prison, depending on the defendant's past history. Class three felony possessions of supplies and chemicals to manufacture other than methamphetamines is usually between two and nine years. For first time offenders, those with no priors could be sentenced to probation. Arizona has a task diversion program for the first time offenders and this program can take up to two years to complete. It involves group counseling once a week, um, attending two meetings for addiction each week, a three hour substance abuse class on the weekends, along with urine testing and the fees could add up to about $2,500. This can only be repeated once, depending on the circumstances. I think the biggest difference out of all these that are mentioned is the same as what our chapter five talks about in drug society and criminal law. And it talks about the difference between personal use and trafficking. Trafficking, which includes the manufacturing, distributing, and possession with intent to distribute, and the personal use are usually small amounts, suggesting that there's only enough for the person to use, no large cast is found, and no baggies, which would suggest they were gonna break it up and sell it. Although Arizona seems to be showing that they want to um, help those who are using only for personal use and for first time offenders, and they give them a chance for rehabilitation, I think that those who are selling, distributing, need to have opportunities for this rehabilitation also. I feel that penalties for the class two felonies are too severe. Three to 35 years is too long. And even for class three felonies, um, two to nine years, that's way too long. Locking people up doesn't solve the problem. It doesn't take care of the issue. Education, educating people about drugs and addiction will take care of the root of the issue and giving them the opportunity to get the rehabilitation. I think there will still be those who continue to use and distribute and manufacture drugs, but using preventative measures and opening up recovery as an option in lieu of prison will decrease the problem. I should be, I think everyone should be given the opportunity to receive treatment over incarceration. Treatment lasts between 60 days and two years, 
which would not only be more cost efficient compared to three years in prison and up, but would also be more effective in treating the root of the problem with the drugs. Thank you for listening.